humanity's search into the past is breathtaking, revealing, and last but not least, incomplete. As such, each artifact recovered helps us better understand the lives of our ancestors. However, no expert, no matter how renowned, can say how many undiscovered objects are still waiting to be brought back to light. In truth, however, not every successful find immediately provides answers to historical questions. On the contrary, In fact, archaeologists have already unearthed some ancient relics that simply cannot be placed in a comprehensible context. The discoveries that we're going to examine with you today are also the focus of heated debates. Get excited about mysterious writings, lost peoples, and enigmatic structures. Let's get started. But first, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more great videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most recent discoveries that's blown the minds of scientists and archaeologists alike. Sanxing Dui the fact that the Sanxing Dui people were among the most prosperous cultures of Bronze Age China is evident from a quick glance at all the remarkable artifacts that this group produced during their existence. According to this, the Sanxing Dui, created between the 12th and 11th centuries BC, among other things, colossal human figures that were 2.6 meters high and weighed 180 kilograms. The bronze tree, which is decorated with flowers, ornaments, and birds, also testifies to the extraordinary skill of this culture. Particularly famous are the mysterious bronze masks and heads, which, with their grotesque shapes, do not seem to come from this world. Incidentally, we have a simple farmer to thank for the fact that we now know anything about the Sanxing Dui. In 1929, he accidentally came across a huge accumulation of jade artifacts. However, it would take until 1986 before the thousands of other relics of the lost people were finally found in the area. Despite all the spectacular discoveries, very little is known about the way of life and the demise of the Sanxing Dui. Hat Shabib One would think that the original purpose of an ancient wall would be elucidated fairly quickly, but in the case of Hat Shabib in Jordan, this is not the case. What is certain is that the structure, with a length of 150 kilometers, cuts an extremely impressive figure. What's also certain, however, is that the waist-high wall was far too small to offer effective protection against enemies. So today we still don't know what really made people build the strange construct hundreds of years ago. Rediscovered in 1948, one possible explanation is that the Hat Shabib was once used to defend against opponents, although they wore no armor and swords, but fur and hooves. As a result, the small wall was built to keep hungry goats or other animals away from the residents' farmland. It's also possible that this was a fixed boundary that divided the land of the farmers and that of the nomadic hunters. William's Enigma Lith the so-called Williams Enigma Lith is the prime example of an out-of-place artifact, a find that just doesn't fit into its historical context. According to his own statements, the eponymous engineer John Williams encountered the mysterious structure in 1998. However, he didn't want to reveal exactly where he found the bizarre stone. However, the discoverer swears on high that the electrical plug was not subsequently worked into the rock. According to this, the plug, like the surrounding rock, would have to be at least a hundred thousand years old. But how is that even possible? Evidence of a highly developed civilization that once roamed our globe? A clue to the existence of time travel? Or just a brazen forgery as most scientists suspect? What are your thoughts on the Williams Enigma Lith? Feel free to let us know in the comments below. Voynich Manuscript Reading is educational. 
Well, this applies at least to the cases in which we can also decipher and understand the writing in front of our noses. However, much to the chagrin of experts, the same is not true of the mysterious Voynich manuscript. In fact, the medieval document was written in a script that's completely unknown. As a result, some researchers believe that the manuscript is nothing but a forgery, and in fact does not hide any secret knowledge at all. However, the other side, which is convinced of the authenticity of the find, has been trying to decode the cryptic text for decades. While the characters still resemble an unsolved mystery, at least the illustrations give us a clue to the hidden content. As a result, the illustrations probably have astronomical, botanical, and anatomical backgrounds. A scientific analysis of the material showed that the manuscript was most likely written at the beginning of the 15th century. However, the author of the text is just as unknown as the messages it contains. Over the centuries, the object passed through many hands into the possession of the Polish collector Wilfred Michael Voynich, hence the official name. The mysterious document has been kept by the renowned Yale University since 1969. The Kukno Stone It was 1887 when the Reverend James Harvey discovered a most unusual rock in Scotland. However, it was not the imposing length of the 13 meters or the width of 8 meters that amazed the discoverer, but the ornate illustrations that adorn the massive object. In detail, we find more than 90 cup and ring marks on the Kukno Stone. This particular rock art was popular thousands of years ago, and the decorations were particularly common in the British Isles. But the spiral-shaped patterns are also immortalized for posterity in the Alps, in Spain, and on the Atlantic. Atlantic coast. The rock carvings of the Kokno Stone are among the most stunning petroglyphs yet discovered in Scotland. So what do you do with a fascinating testimony whose background is completely unknown? That's right, you just bury it in the ground. What sounds quite funny at first glance actually had a rather sad background. The experts feared that the Bronze Age artifact could become a victim of vandalism. Buried in the 1960s, it wasn't until 2015 that the stone was scientifically examined and then exhibited. The Voynich Manuscript one of the more interesting artifacts from history that have been explored recently is the Voynich Manuscript. This manuscript is believed to date back to the 15th century. The interesting thing about this book that sets it apart from others is that it's written in a text that has never been deciphered. In fact, we don't even know for sure that the text is written in a true language or alphabet. It's estimated that the book was created sometime between 1404 and 1436 in Italy. The book got its name from the bookseller Wilfred Voynich, who purchased the book back in 1912. The crazy thing about this book is that it shows the detailed structures of plants as well as other elements of nature, and even shows a somewhat accurate description of human anatomy. From what we've gathered from the script, the book claims that all human beings are formed and animated by unseen energy that flows all throughout nature. The words truth and lie have also been found all throughout the book, seeming to show the origins of human morality. There are leaves all throughout the book as well, and when folded in a particular way, they reveal the Fibonacci sequence, a famous set of numbers that's become known as the creation code. This code can be found all throughout the universe. The Antikythera Mechanism We all know that the ancient Greeks were some of the smartest humans to ever live. To be perfectly honest, if the ancient Greeks were still around today, they'd likely be a heck of a lot smarter than we are and able to conquer the world with ease. These guys possessed almost superhuman knowledge about the world around them, and we're still struggling to learn how they discovered so many mysteries of the universe all those years ago. The Antikythera mechanism is one of the most interesting pieces of equipment we've ever discovered, and it was found off the coast of Antikythera, an island that belongs to Greece. Ever since its discovery, scientists have been working day and night to understand what this device could have been used for and how it was constructed. 
We know that it was built from bronze, but almost any hope of bringing the device back to life has been completely destroyed. It's far from oxidized and is completely seized. Thankfully, computers have allowed us to create digital reconstructions of the device, but that doesn't mean that our theories are completely true. Most scientists believe that the device would have been used to monitor the stars and would have been finely tuned to coincide with the Sun, Moon, and various planets in the solar system. The mechanism would have helped the Greeks to better understand the movement of the planets and help them cultivate crops based on the incoming seasonal changes. This theory continues to claim that the device could have also functioned as a calendar and that it would have been used to create solar calendars, lunar calendars, and even a four-year calendar. Still, we don't know any of this for certain, but research is still ongoing and we could eventually have an explanation about how this device was built and what it would have been used for. For the moment, we're left with nothing more than guesswork by scientists and experts, but there's a lot of hope that this device will be deciphered once and for all in the coming years. Rock Wall What do the City Fathers do when they discover a kind of rock wall in the foundations of their future home? That's right, they call the place Rock Wall without further ado. Ever since the mysterious structures were uncovered in 1852, people have debated whether we're dealing with a man-made or a natural object. A few years ago, John Geisman, a professor of geology at the University of Texas at Dallas, came to the realization that the supposed rock wall is actually a sandstone formation. These natural formations can form when minerals and sediments are deposited in cracks in the earth. However, this is countered by the assumption that the rock wall is is merely the tip of a much larger archaeological iceberg. As a result, some artifacts discovered suggest that the region was inhabited hundreds of years ago and that the walled city has been buried over time. Whether today's rock wall residents really live on the stone relics of an ancient civilization remains to be seen. Lenape Stone the fact that farmer Barnard Hansel found an old piece of slate in Pennsylvania in 1872 is not in and of itself a sensation. However, this changes abruptly when we take a look at the artifact's decorations. In fact, here we see a group of Native Americans hunting an adult mammoth. While the finder initially only discovered a fragment of the object, he found the second half a few months later in the same field. Then, as now, however, the authenticity of the Lenape stones is repeatedly doubted. This is mainly due to the fact that mammoths became extinct in North America 10,000 years ago. However, the other archaeological finds show that the region in question has been inhabited for less than 2,000 years. In addition, there was no person who could testify to the farmer's alleged find. Since the artifact has been cleaned several times over the years, geological investigation is virtually impossible. Since the Lenape stone was sold shortly after its discovery, most experts are convinced that we're dealing with a fake that had no historical context but was based on greed for money. Unexplained Circles You've probably all heard of the Nazca Lines in Peru. These gigantic, scratched images present themselves as geometric figures, people, and animals, and have posed enormous puzzles to researchers since their discovery. However, the strange circles found in Turkey, Syria, and Jordan show that not only the former inhabitants of Peru had a fondness for strange soil structures. At least 2,000 years ago, humans decided to create colossal stone circles circles with diameters of around 400 meters, but in the same breath, the structures were only a few feet high. Although the ancient structures were discovered as early as the 1920s, their scientific decoding is only now getting rolling. However, the investigation is only at the beginning. The researchers still do not know who created the circles and what purpose they served. Which find fascinated you the most? 
As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our foray into archaeological discoveries. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date from now on. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other posts on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the pictures in the credits. Thank you for your interest. Take care and see you next time.